This is one of the most crucial growth strategies in SaaS startup history. The six-step strategy that turned these guys with an ordinary project about boring API integration into 5 billion unicorn founders with a 200 million in revenue and 9 million website visitors per month. How did they do it? What we don't know. I took a closer look at Zapier's growth story and began to realize something. In the next 10 minutes, you will learn 6 genius Zapier's growth hacks that changing the SaaS industry forever. So, if you run a tech startup, just grab your notes and get ready, because this is going to be a SaaS growth hack masterclass. If you look closely at all the successful startups, you'll see that they all came about a time when people's behavior was changing. What happened in Zapier cases? To understand it, let's go back to 1999. Mark Benioff, co-founder of Salesforce, revolutized the tech industry by offering the first cloud-based software for companies. Enterprises started to switch from on-premise software to cloud-based SaaS solution. Let's draw a parallel with urbanization. People moved from villages to the big cities. That is why they started building good roads between the cities. In SaaS world, apps are like cities, and API integration are the digital roads. One of the first digital road builders was an API integration platform named Mulesoft. But Salesforce, Oracle, Mulesoft, SAP, IBM, and others are about enterprise products. At that time, there were only two concepts. Consumer products like Google, Facebook, Yahoo, and enterprise software like Oracle, Cisco, IBM, and so on. In the 2000s, SMB businesses and ordinary people didn't use any software or SaaS. Automation was the privilege of big corporations. There was no industry like B2B SaaS for SMB or subscription-based products for mass market. And here we come to the Zapier's case. After the iPhone revolution and the spread of the mobile internet, in the 2000s the world has become digitalized. 35% of the world's population started to use internet. And it means that even small companies started to use software for business process automation. The creation of tech products became affordable for the masses. In 2000s, web developers were nerds. In 2010s, they become rock stars. A couple of engineers could create B2B SaaS for SMB businesses and started earn money from the first day of the company. That is why SaaS vendors started to grow like a mushroom after the rain. According to the chief Mark Tech, in 2011 there were only 150 SaaS vendors in the marketing industry. In 2023 there are 11,000. The industry became bigger in 100 times. As it was in 2000 with enterprise software, in the 2010s the same happened with the SMB software. People also needed to transfer data between apps. That is why with the growth of SMB software, the number of public APIs was also growing. And Zapier has started to build new digital roads in this growing industry. Zapier became the new Mulesoft for the SMB niche and allowed it companies to transfer data between apps like Gmail, Google Sheets, Trello, MailChimp, and so on. So, we can say that the fundamental reason of Zapier's success is the appearance of the B2B SaaS niche for small and medium business in general. It was a big shift in the market and human behavior. And this is the first point of Zapier's success. Capitalization of the shift that is going on in the market. And this shift was that the majority of small businesses started to use SaaS software. But a lot of SaaS companies started at that time, and not all of them succeeded like Zapier. What has Zapier done differently? Zapier was solving two problems at the same time. Customers wanted specific integrations, but SaaS vendors couldn't develop all integrations themselves. It's like with the roads. The main highway to the capital is good 
and it's built by the government. But the road to your house is your problem. Zapier started to resolve the SaaS vendor's problem with the integrations. For SaaS vendors, it's much easier to recommend Zapier to their customers than to develop 3,000 unpopular API integrations. So the SaaS vendors become one of the main lead generation stream for Zapier. Customer asked in support chat something like, how I can connect your CRM system with, let's say, email marketing software. And the vendor support agent's answer was Zapier. So this is the second point of Zapier success, to be a friend and not a competitor for other SaaS vendors. So if the SaaS vendors become a source of leads for Zapier, the question is how to add more apps to Zapier and make the thousands of API integrations as quickly as possible. And the answer is to create a developer platform where SaaS vendors can build integration with Zapier themselves and connect to the ecosystem. Before that, Zapier's coders were developing all integration by themselves. But now, new app appears on Zapier without any of Zapier's developers coding. And this is the third point of Zapier's success. They built a platform with a user-generated content. But in Zapier's case, users were SaaS vendors and content was API integrations. Most SaaS vendors become a part of Zapier ecosystem and that is why the next vendor was more interested to join the ecosystem. The more apps on a platform can be connected, the more people want to use platform. More people on the platform, more vendors want to reach out this audience. Zapier was transformed from classical SaaS to an app marketplace. Having Zapier integration is a must-have request for most SaaS users today. Without it, customers will not buy your software. That is why Zapier integration has become an industry standard. The number of apps on Zapier marketplace was growing very fast. Zapier integration marketplace becomes a lead generation source for SaaS vendors. Zapier started to compete with the Google, Capture and G2 Crowd in the software exploring process. Zapier marketplace become a place where people can find new apps. This is the closed cycle. SaaS vendors give traffic to Zapier and Zapier gives traffic to vendors. It become not just about integration, it become about getting new customers. When something become about getting new customers, the entrance bar grows. And Zapier has increased this entrance bar to the marketplace. For example, if you want to add your app to Zapier, you have to bring 100 users who will connect your app with other apps using Zapier and vendors started to promote Zapier integration to their customers. The appearance of Zapier integration become not just about the blog post, it's become an announcement. Also vendors added Zapier integration inside their own interfaces, and this strategy allowed Zapier to get more and more customers. Let's make a little bit of calculation and figure out what a genius this step is. Now Zapier has more than 6,000 app integrations. Multiplying 6,000 apps to, let's say, 100 leads, we can see that this technique gave Zapier 300,000 leads only from vendors. But what if vendors provide more than 100 leads? The number of free leads can be millions. And this is the four point of Zapier's success. Get others to recommend you for free. And moreover, they made it not just an option, they made it a requirement, without which the SaaS vendor will not survive. But all previous points were just a warm-up. Let's unlock the true Zapier secret. With the number of apps on the marketplace, the number of pages with integration also grow. When Zapier adds a new integration with Google Sheets, it automatically creates a page with MailChimp and Google Sheets integration, Slack and Google Sheets integration, Trello and Google Sheets integration, and so on. Now you can connect more than 6,000 apps using Zapier. 
And this is more than 49 million unique pages with low query searches that drives very hard Google search traffic to Zapier. And the icing on the cake. Zapier has a lot of pages with a lot of keywords, but to be on the top of the Google, you need to have a strong domain rank. In the last decade, domain authority was built with a qualified backlinking. And what can be more qualified backlink than backlink from the SaaS vendor website? SaaS vendors also growing by SEO and buying backlinks. Their domain ranks are also very high. That is why the link from the vendor's domain will be a very good signal for Google's algorithm. For example, MailChimp has a 93 domain rating. For compression, Wikipedia has 96 domain rating. Every SEO expert knows that one link from the Wikipedia can change the game. What if you can have a backlink from the thick thousand website like Wikipedia? Here is the list of the best backlinks to Zapier. There are a lot of well-known companies here. But you can't buy backlinks on websites like HubSpot or MailChimp. You have to deserve it. With this strong backlink strategy, Google boosted all 49 million Zapier pages at the top of the Google search. This crucial SEO growth strategy gives Zapier 4 million organic visitors every month. And this is the sixth point of Zapier's success. Building the best leveraging SEO strategy in SaaS history. When we look at the whole picture, we can see a strong growth strategy. SaaS vendors building integration with Zapier themselves. One new integration creates new 6000 pages with other integrations that give more search traffic. Vendors wanted to get new customers from the Zapier marketplace. They started to promote Zapier integration on their website giving backlinks to Zapier. Backlinks give more boost to the SEO of all integration pages, and Zapier gets more customers. More customers on the platform, more vendors want to join, and the cycle starts again. But what will be the next? Zapier decided to use Netflix and Amazon's approach. They also started as a marketplace, but after Amazon and Netflix began to create their own brands and movies and eat their partners in the marketplace. Zapier does the same. They add new features that compete with SaaS vendors. For example, SMS by Zapier competing with a Twilio 10 billion business. Emails by Zapier competes with a SendGrid and Mailgun multi-billion business. Features like Schedule, Path and Delay by Zapier Partly replace marketing automation software vendors like HubSpot, ActiveCampaign, and Klaviyo. Also, Zapier make a bet on no-code app building. Interface and tables by Zapier compete with the Webflow and Airtable in the multi-billion no-code industry. And this is the final point of Zapier's success: to build a monopoly and become an all-in-one tool for the no-code industry. If you want to know how to do startups and software business, I recorded a short masterclass about startup mastery, where you can learn how to start a SaaS business, how to do marketing and sales in tech industry, and how to build the product that people want. The link in the description.